Well, I mean, I'd always wanted to make films. I'd grown up wanting to be a film director. If you asked me when I was 10 what I wanted to be, I probably would have said a film director. And my assumption was that you would go to film school, make a short film, and then Hollywood would ring you up and say, we loved your short film, come make a feature. And it just didn't happen. What's up guys, it's Brad from Let Architect. In this video, we're going to take a step back from the standard visual effects tutorials and breakdowns we release on this channel, and once again look at the broad impact that advancing visual effects and now artificial intelligence has on the creative filmmaking process. In this specific video, we're going to be learning a bit about Gareth Edwards, a true creative master of directing films with the intention of enhancing the story with effects later. Gareth's knowledge of the complete filmmaking process, in addition to his unique background starting in visual effects, makes him a testament to why knowing the fundamentals of how technology works can help you embrace it in a creative and effective way. In a normal film, you'd have all the lights, you'd have all the crew, and you'd be looking this way. It'd take about half an hour to maybe set that up, and then you shoot that for a few takes and you get what you need. And then you have a setup over here where you turn the camera around and everyone moves all the trucks and all the crew have to move around. And on this film, I mean, that was exactly what I didn't want to do at all on this film. I just wanted it to be me and the actors. A setup was so easy because it's like you start filming and then it's like, right, I need to go over there. So you just stop and you just move the camera and you can do a setup in like five seconds. Gareth's first feature film, Monsters, which he released in 2010, is one extraordinary example of how he first showcased the power of visual effects on a limited budget. Edwards did most of the visual effects for Monsters by himself in his apartment using readily accessible software such as Adobe After Effects, 3ds Max, and ZBrush. During production, he shot on the Sony PMW EX3, a prosumer-level digital camera, and his crew size when shooting the film, aside from the two main actors, was restricted to only five people. In short, Gareth made monsters for very little, but utilized his creative mind and knowledge of visual effects in the post-production process to shoot in a way that he would accent later with visual effects. His seamless integration of CGI elements into real locations shows how his extensive VFX knowledge allows him to make informed decisions about what's achievable on screen. This unique approach sets his work apart, achieving a level of authenticity often missed by large studios. I would be filming, and in my mind I'd be thinking, okay, wait for a good moment, wait for a good moment, wait for something that'll definitely be in the film, and then suddenly Scoot will say something, or something will happen, or Whitney will do something, and it'll be like, this is fantastic, and then I'll pan off them, and I'll pan onto nothing, because in my mind, I wanna put a giant wall, or a big fence, or helicopters, or tanks, or something that's gonna sell the world. And it was really dangerous doing this, because as you're doing it, you're going off the very thing that you wanna, you know, you wanna concentrate on, but, um, so it was quite a brave thing to keep doing in a way, or it felt stupid, and everyone would look at the rushes, and they obviously can't see the CGI, and see this great moment's happening, and I'm, I'm panning off it to nothing, and, and it freaks people out, like, what the hell are you doing? We knew we shouldn't let him film this. And then, later, when they see the film, and it's all in there, it's like, oh, okay, get it. Gareth's knowledge of visual effects has greatly influenced his shooting style. His latest film, The Creator, serves as a compelling reminder of the transformative power of visual effects. This power has not only redefined the storytelling landscape, but has also democratized filmmaking, making it accessible to creators of all backgrounds and budgets. While now he has industrial light and magic behind him doing the visual effects, he still understands the overall process, and his unique shooting style shows this. Like Neil Blomkamp in District 9, Gareth avoids the conventional reliance on green screens, preferring to use real locations as a foundation, which he then enhances with CGI. This approach gives his films a distinct organic feel, setting them apart from the typical artificial look of big studio productions. For the creator, the crew traveled to over 80 different locations in order to capture environments that were real and organic. This grounds the film in reality, just like his original feature done for a fraction of the budget, Monsters. But what does this unique approach mean for the broader filmmaking community? It means that visual effects continues to become a game changer thanks to filmmakers like Gareth Edwards. VFX empowers filmmakers to bring their wildest ideas to life. Whether it's creating otherworldly creatures or building fantastical landscape, the only limit is their imagination. In the words of Robert Rodriguez, if you're just creative, you'll always have to rely on technical people. But if you're creative and technical, you're unstoppable. Now, in addition to visual effects becoming more accessible, the decreasing cost of cinema cameras has also made it more affordable for filmmakers to achieve cinematic excellence. The Creator, an $80 million studio production, was shot on a Sony FX3, a camera that only cost several thousand dollars, significantly reducing production costs. 
clear that computer graphics were going to be the future of filmmaking to some extent. And so it felt like, okay, if I get into this and I know how to do this, I can go make a movie on my own. Maybe I won't need someone to let me, give me permission. The price of technology, as well as the accessibility of visual effects, have made it far easier to make great looking films on a budget. In the world of visual effects, your creativity knows no bounds. Visual effects gives filmmakers the freedom to push creative boundaries and experiment with unconventional visuals and deliver experiences that leave a lasting impact. So whether you're an aspiring filmmaker or a curious enthusiast, visual effects could be your gateway to endless creative possibilities. And if you're eager to learn more about visual effects and create your own low-budget masterpieces, there's one source you should subscribe to, and that is the Light Architect YouTube channel. It's like film school, but with more laughs and fewer textbooks. I'll see you next time.